Okay, so right now I'm rebuilding the fuel injectors and I want to show you the easy way to get these off. Now, a lot of people undo the entire wiring harness and take everything apart. You can see this is still still attached to the fuel rail as, as it's pulled out of the manifold. This is actually pretty easy to do. So you, st you stick your fingernail up underneath this wire clip under the metal band in the front of the injector. You can see how I got my finger up there. You kind of push it out and then you use something like a little pick or whatever, like a pry tool, and you pull that out. And you see how that clip is now free. So that means the, the injector can be unplugged. Now there's one clip on the injector here. I'm trying to turn this so hopefully you guys can see it. But it's a little clip right here that kind of rotates around and it clamps onto the injector and then there's a hole in there where it clamps onto the fuel rail so that clip you just pull that off just like that and you can see what I'm talking about there so once that's done pull it out of the harness because you just undid the clip and it'll just kind of pop out all at once from there and the line just like that. And that's it. And it goes back in the same way. So anyway, let's go ahead and rebuild this injector and I can show you guys how to do that. Okay, I'm going to show you how to rebuild it in a fuel injector. I'm going to show you how to do it. So anyway, you can buy this kit off of Amazon and it comes with O-rings, spacers, uh, filters, and caps. And as you can see, I've got two fuel injectors left. Now these caps are what's on the end here and it's these plastic caps. These degrade over time and these are done. So you know these injectors are from 1997 it's now 2021 these are cooked so these have to come off. These pretty much break off so you have to be careful because in the center here is the actual fuel injector nozzle and it's right there. It's flat across the surface once you get it off there but you don't want to scratch it. So if your fuel injectors are working perfectly when you do this you just need to replace the plastic and the rubber seals and that's it. Uh, if they're not working correctly then usually what I do is I put this in a jar of Tecron so you go buy Tecron concentrate from the auto parts store fill it up in a glass jar to where it's sitting about here on the injector and just let it soak for an hour. Maybe pour a little tiny bit up in here at the same time. Now this is the basket where the gas goes in. So you can do that and that'll probably clean it up. Sticky injectors can be a problem. A little bit of Tecron usually frees them up. It's not that big a deal. Uh, in this case, these are running super smooth. I don't have to worry about that. I know that these are not clogged at all. But now I gotta take this thing apart. So we're gonna start with the butt first. So on the butt, uh, let's just try some good old-fashioned pliers and see if these things disintegrate. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. No, not fully disintegrating. Well, maybe they are. I can't tell. So I'm going to take something that I can pry in there, maybe a little flathead screwdriver or a pick or something. And you can see it's just breaking apart on me and it's just kind of disintegrating so once you get the cap off there um, and this one's pretty much ah, there it goes shooting across the room once it's off there you can see that's what my injector looks like that that's clean there isn't any residue any haze anything on there so anyway uh, we've got a plastic spacer and an o-ring so we'll go ahead and put a fresh o-ring or a fresh spacer and one fresh o-ring on there now when you get these kits the o-ring on the top and bottom are the same so you should get like I don't know 12 o-rings and then six spacers so anyway I pop the spacer on there and then the o-ring and it goes on just like that pretty simple and then from there, the plastic cap goes back on. And that is right here. 
These are pretty easy to get on. Just find yourself a clean space. This is now all gross because of how dirty that cap was, the other one. But anyway, you get it to this point, and you just press down until it clicks like that. And that means it popped on. So that is good to go. Now you go to the other side. Up here you have a basket. That's what these look like. There is no non-destructive way of removing these. So, but they do have to be replaced because they could be filled with debris, whatever. So this comes with a special tool. These are press fit in there and they're, they're in there tight. You can use a screw and screw this in probably about 10 millimeter and then use pliers or something to pull it out. Kind of a pain in the butt. This fuel injector kit came with a handy little tool, which I really like. So what you do is you stick this in here and then you screw it down and screw it from the body in and pretty much get it to where it's 8 to 10 millimeter in there, probably 8 millimeter. And then you screw the end down and that presses this sleeve against the top of the filter. And then you hear that pop, that means it extracted it. So when I pull it out, that's what I get. This is a really good little tool. I like this thing. The kit alone is worth it just for this little funky tool. I wish I had this years ago. Anyway, from here you just take some pliers, grab that, and then untwist the old dead filter off of there. And you'll see that's, that's what it looked like. Pretty gross. Most likely the plastic that they use on these old filters are going to start to disintegrate once air hits them anyway. So they pretty much need to be changed no matter what. Otherwise, you're going to get a clogged injector. So, from this point, we'll take a new one. And what I noticed about these is that the tops of these are just slightly taller, the brass parts, are just slightly taller than the old ones. Not by much, but maybe not quite a millimeter. I mean, very little. So from here, so we got our new seal on there. Take this basket, turn it over, you stick it in there, and again, it's the same thing. Flip it over and then press it down until it's pretty much almost all the way in there. So there's going to be just a tiny little lip going around the whole thing. But that's it. After that, this thing is ready to go back in, so there you go. Okay, this injector is now fully rebuilt. It is ready to go back in. So from here, you turn around, stuff it up into the cup. As you're doing that, try to put it back into the wiring harness at the same time. You'll notice that it just wiggles right up in there to where it's supposed to. And then you'll hear that um, wiring harness click, the connector click in. And then once you do that, Take this on there, clip has to be upside down just like this, and slide that so it goes into that band and the cup at the same time, and then check it, give it a pull, make sure that it can't move around. But that's back in there. That's the easiest way to do these. It's a breeze.